Hi, so what I have in front of you are five different night lights that I've been using for the past two years. And I figured I'd do a video on them because I bought each one of these for different uses and I'll go through each one of those. I'll also go through which ones are the best that I find. Um, and I've bought actually over 12 of these and I've returned the rest and keeping, you know, these particular ones. So I'm gonna try to show you the relative brightness here. I'm gonna use this one first. I'm gonna plug this in and turn off the lights. And so that's the relative brightness of that particular one. Next up is this USB one. And I will have this both in the high and low. So currently it's in the low. Plugging this in. And that is the low setting. Turning this on to high here. And that is the high setting. So moving on to the next one. So this particular one is adjustable. I am going to turn off the light. This is at its lowest setting. So that's at its lowest setting. I'm going to continue to push this higher. And you can see that's at its highest setting. So at its highest setting, it's pretty bright and decent. That's a very good representation of the light. And next up is this GE. So that is the light sensor. I will actually have it on auto, plugging it in and turning it off here. You, you can see that's actually a hundred lumens and this is super bright, you know, super, super bright. So this here's the Dunwallis. This is my least favorite one because of how inconsistent the light sensor is. And I'm going to turn it off. It's going to be at its highest setting. And you can see that it is very bright if I adjust it. That is at 50 lumens, I believe, and this is at 30. So this is a pretty decent one, except that the light sensor is not all that consistent. Yeah, as you can see, you know, I, I have the light turned on and it just doesn't turn off. So that's what I find that's a problematic about this particular one. So um, I'll start off with this particular one. So this one I actually bought at the store and it's a pretty useless, uh, I say it's useless in the sense that I, it's not bright enough. So, so this thing is probably five to 10 lumens, which means that, um, you know, if I put this in the bathroom, it's very faint and It'll light up maybe a foot, a foot and a half in front of the pathway. Uh, what is uh, useful about this is that it twists and you can angle the light any way you want. So there are some sort of limited uses to this. Maybe in a small bathroom, this will be sufficient enough. Or if you're very sensitive to uh, even the faintest bright light at night, maybe you might want to use this. So this I got at Walmart, but I also have links in the description area to all of these particular ones. Now the next one I got, because this one was so faint, was um, I got this one for a kitchen and also for a hallway. So this thing is five and a half inches across and it's horizontal. So this one is the brightest out of all of them. It is a GE 100 Lumums. And it does have basically two modes. Uh, you could turn it on, permanently on, in which case it's very bright. So what I mean by bright, the 100 lumens, if I had a dark room uh, and I plug this in, it will reach 15 feet across the other wall and still have some light hit the other wall. So that's how bright this thing is. Uh, but it is soft yellow light that's faint enough that it won't bug you when you are, say, uh, you know, waking up at night and, uh, you know, trying to find, find basically a pathway to the bathroom, uh, which is why I got this. I got this basically for my elderly uh, father uh, for that reason, to light up the hallway. Um, but not to have it too bright such that it, uh, you know, it will affect, <laughs> you know, his eyes when, 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 it, when it's late at night. So the disadvantage of this is that it only has two modes. It's either on or auto. Auto meaning that it is, 
uh, light sensing so it turns on at night uh, but in the morning when daylight hits it it turns off so this is uh, one of my favorite ones it's made by GE now the next one is this Denwellis so this Denwellis is a uh, pretty bright because it it has a uh, you know three modes 10 lumens 30 lumens and 70 lumens and um, you know just like the this one that's 100 lumens uh, this one is 70 at its max um, and so it does also reach you know 15 feet the only thing about this one is it's very the way the buttons are it's very uh, confusing to change modes so you could change it in three brightnesses but at the same time you could also do on or off meaning you know you could push the button you could set it to 10 lumens, 30 lumens, 70 lumens, and then push the button and then it'll turn on, push the button and it'll turn off, or have it auto sensing with the light sensor. Um, except that the way these buttons are configured, it's very confusing to actually set that. And it's very inconsistent. Um, and I have two of these, it comes in a two pack. Uh, but, but if you uh, like that it's adjustable, you know, definitely get this one. I actually prefer this GE one over this Denwellis for that reason. It's very uh, confusing to configure. Even after you configure it, uh, the, the way these sockets are, um, it doesn't seem, that it doesn't really have a very consistent light sensor as the other ones. And I find that um, it, it, just, it just doesn't have a consistency as to when it turns on and when it turns off. Now the next good one, and this one is my second favorite, actually it might even be my first favorite, is um, it is an adjustable 5 lumens to, it says here, to 80 lumens. And, and it is that bright. And this is the softest yellow light that I have. And I really like this one. I like it because it is adjustable and it is bright. You know, 80 lumens, 5 lumens, but also that's the light sensor there and it is very it is very accurate and fine um so the reason why i bought this was i wanted to put this near my kitchen disposal except that the light switch uh was right next to it you know it is one of those dual sockets with the electrical uh, outlet and then the light switch right next to it and I could not put this horizontal one on because it'll block the light switch. So I had to get an alternative and I got this as the alternative. And I find this one light to, not, it, you know, it's bright enough, uh, but it's also adjustable. And so it was a good replacement for this one in the kitchen. And I ended up moving this one to the hallway for that reason. Um... But it, it, it was nice that it, it actually fit that configuration where the, if there's a light switch next to it, it works great. So this is definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely uh, very accurate and adjustable. And so, um, you know, it has that advantage over this particular one that I like. Uh, the next one that I got is a dual USB with basically two, two light extensions expansions and um, a night light at the bottom so this particular night light is about 20 lumens and I also put this in the kitchen in, in another area of the kitchen um, and this is bright enough to also light up adequately in the kitchen it is a, about 20 25 lumens it doesn't have a spec but uh, judging by uh, this one and this one it's bright enough and it is about 20 25 lumens uh, it angles down, which, uh, you know, serves a purpose also. I actually wish that they had one that angles up. Now, they also have, you know, this jutted out area here for you to actually place a phone if you are charging, which is what I liked about this one. It has the light sensor in the middle. It is also very accurate, but it also has the USB plugs. Um, so if I was to rate all of these, even though all of these has different uses, um, this particular one, uh, because it hangs at the bottom, it actually does end up fitting also the light switch. So, so that was what's nice about it. It also has an expansion and extension if you need to turn one outlet into two outlets. So uh, this is definitely a favorite of, favorite of mine's. Um, now to rank these, I would say this is number one. 
but it but it's a very uh, tight race between this one and this one. This one gets the edge because it is adjustable. Uh, and this particular one is my second favorite if you need something really bright and that it has an on off switch. This one also has a high and a low brightness and an off. So the high and a low uses the auto light sensing and the off just turns it completely off. So the low setting, and, and I should correct myself here, the, the low setting is about 20 lumens. The high setting I would say is about 30 lumens. Uh, so, so it is nice in that way. Uh, but just to rank them, you know, this one by Low House, and I will have the links in the description area of the video. And this particular one uh, is the uh, GE, which is my second favorite, and this one is the third, but they all have its own uses. Uh, ones that I wouldn't buy again is I wouldn't buy this one again, and uh, I probably won't buy this one again. I'll probably use, you know, this instead. Uh, but that's really it. Uh, that's what I want to mention. I hope this helps. Please subscribe, and thank you for watching.